Research is on for South Africa's next gospel sensation. 100,000 rands in cash to be won. One lucrative recording contract to be signed. Only one aspirant gospel singer can walk away with this grand prize. Who will it be? Join us tonight as many hopefuls from around the country say, I want to sing gospel. gospel. Picture this, a five-city audition tour in search of the next gospel superstar kicks off in May 2008 and gospel star wannabes show up in their thousands with the hope of begging the grand prize of a hundred thousand rands and of course that lucrative recording contract with legendary music producer extraordinaire Linda Lanim Kize. This is the scenario that transpired when SABC2 invited all those who fancy themselves as good singers to come and hit a gospel note for our talent scout come producer Linda Lanim Kize. Now Linda Lanim is tasked with the big job of searching for that next gospel star who will take South Africa by storm. But why should we trust him with this mammoth task? Well, if you're not familiar with the works of this music supreme, take a look at this little background that will give you insight into this fine-sized musical dynamite. Born in Mlazi, Wazulu Natan, Lindelani roamed the streets of his neighborhood like any child. Unbeknownst to anyone that he would one day receive Metro FM's Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to the music industry in South Africa. I believe in the talent that this country has to offer. But back in the 1980s in KZN, Lindelani was a young boy who was passionate about gospel music. Evidence of this was seen when he formed numerous gospel choirs in Natal, performing with them everywhere they could. So it wasn't a surprise that when the time came for Lindelani to go to university, a music degree was what he pursued. His knack for the music business and his gift for polishing unrefined singing talent allowed him to develop singers that grew to be some of South Africa's most valued singing sensations. And now Lindelani is looking for the next solo gospel singer to take gospel music in South Africa to the next level. But Lindelani, he... He believed in us, you know, from the word go. Lindelani can see things that most people wouldn't even notice. Um, sometimes a person would sing and we'd all be like thinking, okay, why? Okay, what are they doing here? And then he'd say, okay, sing a, partic a, a particular type of song. And then when that person would sing that song, then you'd see that, oh, okay, so that's why they're here. He's always spotting out things, then oh, hurry. Um, we are not even aware that we are capable of doing. He has been uh, at the forefront of revolutionizing music in South Africa, particularly the South African sound, uh, by bringing in elements that are not known, that are new, that normal companies would not embrace. Uh, I was amazed music and musicians. He voked in somebody who is perfect for the job. And I think he's a real legend. Uh, Only 30 promising hopefuls will get to travel to Josie with Lindelani, where every week for the next 13 weeks, someone will get eliminated until only three remain. Then you at home get your chance to pick your favorite contestant. And our first stop in the search for the big 3-0 is in the friendly city of Port Elizabeth. Bye, you just say hi. The P.E. masses seemed enthusiastic and ready to show what they were made of musically. 
The people have come out in numbers and they are ready to impress. They've got their eyes firmly fixed on the big price and their vocal cords are in check. So stay tuned as we listen to these masses as they say... I want to see the Stay with us. We're back after the break. Still to come, more fun additions in Cape Town, Bloemfontein, Durban and Johannesburg. Stay tuned.